Good morning. Happy Friday to everyone. Today is December 2nd, 2022. I'm stating the date because I know you guys have seen a million of my Fab Over 40 contest videos over the last several months of this contest. But I want to tell you guys, thank you so much for all of your support, for all of the love, for all of the hugs, all of your sacrifices. I want you guys to know because of you, I made it um, this far. And so even though I did not win last night as last night's finalist, I want you to know that um, our campaign alone, the Vivian Bell campaign, raised a little under $5,000. I don't have the exact amount um, as of yet, but I want you guys to know that because of your support for me, there are uh, mothers, daughters, sisters, cousins that will be receiving assistance they're, if they're battling breast cancer, the National Breast Cancer Foundation, all of the money raised goes directly to women who have either uh, battled breast cancer, currently still battling breast cancer, or in some way was affected by breast cancer, and they are in need of some form of assistance. So nothing that you did was wasted. I got to share that message with you. It's really important that we always know that there is nothing that we do that is wasted. Our time wasn't wasted. Our funds were not wasted. Literally, people will be helped. They will be able to pay their rent. They'll be able to pay their mortgage. They'll be able to feed their families and pay car payments and all these other things simply because you chose to support me. And I just want to say thank you for that. So that was one of the, um, the messages that God consistently gave me throughout this, this, uh, this contest. There, there were several, and it just I've just been so blessed in so many ways by this contest. But I want to share um, three of the things with you this morning. One I just shared with you, which is that nothing is ever wasted. The other is for us to never box God in. Um, throughout this contest, I've received several text messages, emails, of people saying to me, I really wish I could support more financially, but I can do my free votes every day. And um, my message remained consistent. My response to them remained consistent, which is that I serve a big God who does big things and he has uh, an unlimited uh, way to bless my family. So yes, the $40,000 would have been beautiful. The, uh, the magazine spread, all of those things would have been great. But I want you guys to know to never ever box God into only expecting him to do something for you in a particular way. And then the third message that um, the Lord, I felt really I needed to share out of all the things that God taught me throughout this contest. As we went through this contest, you guys got to see um, our, uh, like our campaign pages, right? I'll call it that, our campaign pages, our profile pages. And anytime you clicked on my link, you would see my picture and what I was for and what I plan to do, um, winning the contest and all these other things, right? Well, on the back side of that, we had a platform where all of the women could go on and make comments and you can see updates about them. You could see um, their pictures, um, different, you know, some people posted more than one picture. Some people posted all kinds of pictures. Um, but in that area where each, each uh, every week or every 14 days, however long each round lasted, um, I went from being in the top 20 to the top 15 to the top 10 to the top five. And then I placed first in my, in my, uh, in my group. And um, what, what that did was it allowed me to be in different rooms where there were different women from all over the country. And I was able to see um, just their comments for the people who were no longer in the contest, people who might have placed low in the contest. And um, I'm sharing this with you because what happened in this contest for me, the third thing was, is that it made me more determined to walk in my purpose. And so throughout any of my videos that you see for my coaching, counseling, and online courses, that's the that's the underlying message to walk in your purpose, to figure out who you are and to walk in your purpose. I saw women that were um, hurting and like this, this contest literally devastated them. And initially when God was showing me this, I thought, well, Lord, that's like, that's not where I am. Like that's like, I didn't need this contest to solidify that I'm fabulous. And I don't say that arrogantly. I, I just say that because I, I know who I am in God, right? And, um, but there are women who still don't know that. And so what you did in supporting me week after week after week was you allowed me to be in a room that um, allowed me to 
um, encourage other women, but also it solidified God's call on my life. So even though you won't see any more fab over 40 videos, you are going to see so many other things even throughout this month of December um, because God has just been um, blessing my team, blessing me, blessing us with ideas, allowing us to um, be able to complete projects that we started at the beginning of the year, year prior. And so it's you guys, your support, I just want you to know was never wasted. Um, your, your time was not wasted. Your sacrifice was not wasted. Um, and I want to just say again, thank you to every single person. I mean, when I tell you it was overwhelming, the love and support that was received, it just blessed me. And I am more determined to walk out my purpose as a destiny strategist to help the women in this world to discover their God-given purpose and to walk that purpose out. So I just want to encourage you today to continue to give, to continue to bless, because you are helping literally people all over the world, whether you're doing it through this contest or other means. If God allows you to be a blessing, then be a blessing to someone else. And then also to remember to expect big things from our big, most amazing, supernatural God, because he gives a new definition to the word fabulous. And with all of that said, I want to bless every single person that is given to me in any way throughout this contest. I pray for you every single day, but today I just want you to hear me bless you. I just want you to know that what you did did not go unnoticed by God. So in the name of Jesus, I just pray God's blessings over you. I pray that he multiplies your the, the funds that you provided, that you sacrificed, that he will bless you 10,000 fold, that you will hand over a fist or foot be receiving men pouring into your bosoms because you gave sacrificially. And even if it wasn't a sacrifice to you, you gave of your time and your efforts. I want to thank those of you that bless me with your words. I pray that God will just bless every single thing that you do, that you will always be uplifted, that you will always rest in his peace. I pray that he blesses the work of your hands abundantly and that he will do so expediently and that you will know that it was God and that he is pleased with all that you have done and how you have chosen to give because the word of God tells us that we will, um, when we give, that we'll receive back what we give pressed down, shaking together and running over. And because we serve a God that cannot lie, I thank him in advance for your many, many blessings and I give him glory for it all. Again, I thank you all for everything and I pray that your weekend is blessed and abundantly, abundantly just blessed, amazing, and that it is full of the same love multiplied to you that was showed to me through this contest. God bless you all and have a wonderful, wonderful weekend.